Assalamu alaikum ma'am this is Alshayar belong to business administration department my date number 2019210091 now i'm going to talk about the solution of the case question 3 and 4 first let me talk about the question 3 well in question 3 develop a psychographic profile relating to the type of person who would be most likely to purchase pet food products from complete natural nutrition to develop a psychographic profile we have to follow attitude values activities and interest how can i develop following this area I'll be discussing step by step. Firstly, I'd like to talk about the attitude. We have to think health conscious, discerning, pet centric. In terms of the health conscious, values the well being of their pet and six products that contribute to their health. And second one is the discerning and prefer high quality and natural ingredients for their pets. And third one is the pet centric, views their pet as an integral family members, prioritizing their happiness and comfort. And second one is the values. In terms of the values, quality over quantity. Values quality integrates and is willing to pay more more for premium products. Uh, responsibility and feel responsible for their pet's health and actively seek solution for specific health issues. And transparency. Values clear information about their products, ingredients, sourcing and manufacturing. And third one is that activities. In terms of the activities, reading level is the most important thing. Takes the time to read the understand the pet food levels, ensuring they make informed choices. Training engage in pet training and uses traits as positive reinforcement. And third one is the online shopping. I prefers to convenience of online shopping, especially through specialty stores. Fourth one is the interest. In terms of the interest, first one is the health living has an interest in promoting a healthy lifestyle for themselves and their pets. Second one is the natural products shows the preference for natural and organic products. These are the psychographic process a person can follow while parsing pet food products from complete natural nutrition. Let's move on the next slide, please. Now I'm going to discuss about the question four. And based on the demographic data in table A, what would be the best target market for cheese, please? and real food toppers assuming they are targeting the premium market as for the cheese please and real food toppers i will choose the best target market considering the market is premium i will target the market based on the four criteria uh, income level education level occupation and age group these are the thing i'll be discussing step by step so firstly from the table i can see that people who have higher spend more more on their pets so i'll choose my market based on the income the next criteria will be the education level of the people because I can see in that chart the people with the higher education spend more on their pets because they will understand the value of premium quality food products for pets. The next one I will follow is occupation. People who do a level of job spend more on their pet foods. The last criteria will be the age group. So as I can see the from the chart, younger people spend more on their pets so in conclusion my ideal target market will be the rich people with the higher level of education and higher level of job and they should be young in this is this is how i'll choose targeting paid premium market uh, based on the demographic data as we can see on the slide uh, thank you ma'am that's all about my part rest of the thing will be discussed through my group number